what does borrowing energy from space-time mean? So this is in the context of quantum field theory. Quantum field theory says that the entire world is an illusion, whatever we see. The entire world is made up of fields and particles themselves are local manifestations, local manifestations of these fields. So you have 17 different fields that permeate the universe. It's just one field across the entire universe and particles are local uh, manifestations of these fields. And it also says that the uh, vacuum of space itself is an illusion. It is full of, uh, uh, it's full of uh, particle and particle pairs that are coming in and out of existence at all times. So it's extremely energetic, right? So it is in this context that one talks about the uh, this idea of borrowing energy from space-time. So what it means is that uh, the vacuum of space is teeming with particle and antiparticle pairs. So a particle and antiparticle pair is formed out of the vacuum of space-time and it is formed and it very quickly uh, annihilates itself. So it gives the energy back to space-time. So isn't this something that violates the conservation of energy, right? That's the question. Because uh, you can't just borrow energy from nowhere. En energy has to be, the, the conservation of energy has to be uh, respected. So there is one loophole called the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So uh, there is one formulation of this principle that is the energy time formulation. It basically says that energy, uh, the uncertainty in energy and the uncertainty in time are inversely proportional to each other. So the greater the uncertainty in energy, the, sh the smaller is the uncertainty in time. And the greater the uncertainty in time, the smaller the uncertainty in energy, which essentially I know it sounds like gobbledygook, but it essentially tells you that you can borrow energy from vacuum as long as you give it back within the time frame, the time window that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle gives you. So that's what happens. These are all virtual particle antiparticle pairs. These are these are these form and annihilate each other too quickly to be actually observed but you can observe their indirect effects and these experiments have been done. So it actually is true. There are such particle antiparticle pairs being formed and destroyed all the time in vacuum. So basically you're borrowing energy from the vacuum and giving it back within the time window that is that, that Heisenberg uncertainty, the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle gives you. And that is a loophole that is exploited, that, that nature exploits in this manner. So you take energy and you give it back in a very short period of time before you violate the uncertainty principle. That's all it is, basically. That's the best way to look at it. So that's how vacuum itself has a great deal of energy and it, it's, it's teeming with particle antiparticle pairs and that is one of the things that we find in quantum field theory which is the most successful theory of the ultra microscopic universe that we have as of today